Welcome back YouTube to another episode of Movie Couple Eats. And today we're going to be doing something that we've been wanting to do for quite a while and it's go down to Knott's Berry Farm for their Boysenberry Festival. I've heard about this for a while and I have been dying to go down. My parents and my family and I are like in when we were like living at when I was like living at home with my brothers and everything we used to go to Knott's Berry to farm all the time but um, I haven't really gone there very often recently so I'm excited to see what's new I'm excited to see this boysenberry festival and I've heard really good things about all of the food yeah I am really excited because for the most part when we do these movie couple eats at a theme park it's for the most part Disney because yeah we are pass holders or to Universal because they recognize us as press so they invite <laughs> us to cover things which is fantastic we uh, this will be my third time ever in my life at a Knott's Berry Farm. Um, oh, really? Only third? This is my third time. Oh. I've gone once with friends, uh, once with your family, and this is the third time. And we're returning for Boys and Berry Festival because uh, it's just like a thing that they do every year. It's huge, and they have such a weird variety of combinations. It's flank steak with boysenberry and cream cheese topping and yeah. uh, boysenberry mac and cheese. They have boysenberry hot dogs, or <laughs> I mean, the hot dogs aren't boysenberry. Corn dogs. It, yeah. That's it. The corn dogs. Well, and also the, the buns. Chili. They had like a two foot. They had like a two foot hot dog yeah, I can't with on away. a boysenberry bun. I can't put We're away probably that much. Not gonna try that one, but because I mean, there's like there's way too much stuff for us to eat all of. So what's really cool is uh, they have this thing called a tasting card, and on it it gives you eight coupons for one food item. And they have a list of booths that participate in this tasting card, which is plenty already. I really don't know if we're even going to be able to finish the eight today, which means we yeah. might have to come back. But uh, that is the plan. The pass is purchased for $35 plus tax. And we are just so excited to go and check it out. And I hope I'm not tired of boysenberry by the end of this. Food, glorious food. So, I got our taste card. Let's take a look at that. So there's eight items we're allowed out of the 14 different locations. Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat first? I don't know. It is breakfasty, so... It's 10. Right now the time is 10. Like 10.30 or something? Something like that. So we can maybe get some chicken, get some waffles. We'll find out. We should probably walk and see where everything is first. I think that's a good idea. Well, there's a map shows you where everything is. Because it's 10.30 in the morning and now it's closer to 11, I didn't really want to eat anything super heavy, so I was like, oh, let's go get boysenberry latte at the coffee shop. We walked from one part, of the, one part of the park, which is at the very beginning, to the complete opposite end of the park, and we still can't find the stupid coffee shop. I'm ready to give up, but at the same time, I'm committed. I want my coffee. So it's just like this map, this one, not the best description. We asked a couple of people, where we could find the boysenberry latte and they just looked at us and they didn't know what we were talking about. So I'm not a happy camper right now. Huh. Just want my coffee. Wendy without coffee is dangerous, guys. Very bad. <laughs> this is All right, Wendy got her coffee. Boysenberry latte. I was hoping for, I see a little bit of like caramel down here or some sort of like sweetener sauce. I thought there would be, it would be purple. Uh, yeah, boysenberry they... color or some sort of a drizzle. There's none of that, so I'm hoping this at least tastes like boysenberry. Otherwise, we walked a very long way for nothing. 
there's a very slight hint, I would say a whisper, for what? poison berry. Aww. It's very, very light. Is it just coffee with poison I wonder if it's the boysenberry coffee with like a, like a latte, but I've had blueberry coffee before. You can really feel, you can almost smell, it's like a fragrant of the blueberry. Um, and this, I get nothing of, so I want to get Dustin's opinion, but right now I am disappointed I'm giving this. On a scale of like five boysenberry to the power of boysenberry, this has one boysenberry. So the coffee is good. The coffee is good, it's smooth, it's, it's nice, it's sweet, but there's no boysenberry, hence the one. No, I'm probably gonna be a little bit more strict because I like sweetness in my coffee, so. Okay, okay. Actually, it was, it was more than you, than you thought it was. I feel like this has a little bit more boysenberry than just a whisper. I think there's a Wait, little bit. Am I too harsh? I think you're a little, a little too harsh. I think I wanted like purple coffee. I think you did too. I think that's what you were anticipating. But this is definitely, I can't imagine this being any more boysenberry without it being overly boysenberry. All right, so I'd so have to say maybe a little bit higher out of five, I'll give it, I'll give it like a three. Three boysenberries? Three power, boysenberries. The flavorfulness of the because I could drink this. You know, if it was just plain coffee, I'd be like, Ugh. It is smooth. But yeah, you're right. It is very smooth. Smooth. Okay, are we ready to partake in yes. our food? Yes! Let's it's go get time. some grub. So we're going to be trying the jerk chicken. This chicken is not very nice. Is what? Oh, it's been a jerk. Uh-huh. Trying to get some humor in there. All right, and this is supposed to be. Uh, I first want to try the raspberry sauce. Boysenberry. Boysenberry sauce, right? <laughs> Oops. Ooh, that's a really good raspberry sauce. Yeah, it's like a little bit of raspberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Yeah, it's like a little bit of boysenberry flavor. Hold on, I got it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. Oh wow. It's very juicy, and the sweetness goes really well with that chicken. It's a really good, sweet barbecue sauce. Is there any spicy to it? Because technically jerk chicken are slightly spicy. Mm, I feel a tingle on my okay. tongue, but Maybe that's it. Maybe the masses, so not everybody's like into super spicy. Honestly, this is, I mean, I'm a wuss when it comes to spicy, so if you think you're a wuss with spicy food, you can handle this no problem. Okay. This is not a problem at all, unless you're like a super, super not able to eat spicy food. But this is like... I do see the steam coming off of that. Mmm. Bye, hon. On a scale of one to five boysenberries, I'll give this a solid four. I am gonna give this a try. I got my napkin ready because I'm wearing a light shirt today. Probably a big mistake in doing that. But what I like was that they were grilling the chicken right outside. So it's super steamy, super hot. You see the steam? Oh yeah, I can see that. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. It's very flavorful. That boysenberry barbecue sauce is fantastic. Um, I kind of want a bottle to make barbecue, like pulled pork with it. I think at home, yeah, we need to try that. The chicken is very juicy. The skin's slightly crunchy, just like the way I like it. I would go, for me personally, just a little bit easier on the sauce, but that's a personal preference. So on a scale of one to five flavorfulness of boysenberries, I am giving this a 4.5. That just, was pretty good, I have to admit. My, my glasses look like it's crooked because uh, this one ear is higher than the other one. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I am such a lightweight that I am already kind of full. <laughs> you're already kind of like, just after two chicken wings, you're like... I know, like, what is what is that? Maybe I shouldn't have so had the coffee. So we walked around for a little bit. And now we're going to get some 
boysenberry elote. elote. Elote is my favorite, so we're gonna see what it's like with a little boysenberry spin. boysenberry butter on it with boysenberry mayo, cheese, and uh, boysenberry tortilla chip crumbles. <laughs> I hope it's good. Here we go. All right, it's good. I want it a little bit more. Okay, I might put a little bit of cayenne or lemon pepper on this on just the next bite. I'll be right back. Put a little cayenne pepper, a little bit of lemon pepper on it so it's more seasoned. Mmm. Put the seasoning on it. It makes it so much better. Oh my gosh. Did you just put it on one bite or did you put it on enough for me to have a bite? Some, of the there's some too. <laughs> <laughs> Spices are in my throat. Yeah, this is... I didn't really know what to expect. I was just hoping it would suck. <laughs> it definitely doesn't. I like it a lot. Um, but you need to put some of the spices on there. Yeah, to give it a little bit more of a, of a zing. Um, otherwise, you get just like boysenberry, which is great, but it's it's a bit like jammy. Oh. Um, sweet, and, and it, it, just, it just gives it... It gives it a little bit more like layers as far as flavors go so it's not like if you don't want to put the seasoning on it you don't have to it's fine without it I just uh, personal preference and I like but I think more. that's gonna be one of the big things that really helps the boysenberry festival along is that mixture of sweet and savory in some of their food so okay don't eat all of it I would like some I don't need to eat that much I would give the boysenberry elote uh, 3.8 out of 5 boysenberries. I don't know how I'm going to do 3.8 in the graphics. <laughs> so it'll just look like, you know what, let's just go 4. Let's just go round up and full 4 is good. I like it. Alright, so we got some with some of the seasoning that Wendy tried. So I'm going to try it with the seasoning first. Wow, I can barely taste the seasoning that you put on there. Over the boysenberry? I ate most of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let me try it without the sauce, uh, the extra seasoning. Yeah, you definitely want to put some of the seasoning on there. Definitely go with a little bit more of the seasoning and the spiciness to it because it will go very well with the boysenberry. The boysenberry flavor isn't that strong, I think, but I still think it's, it, this is still pretty good, but add some of the seasoning. So my rating out of five boysenberries, I'd have to say it would probably be like a 2, 2.5 around there. We're gonna try. I'm, so afraid, I'm, a, I'm, I'm afraid of bees. There's a but honey they're, stand. They're uh, they're behind a glass, so they're, stop it. <laughs> I'm. So I mean, they're kind of cute when like you look at them up close. They're all fuzzy. <laughs> they're just not cute when they're trying to sting you. Can we get a second one for him too? Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh, so here, and here. this is the boysenberry honey. Boysenberry honey. Okay. All right, here I got longer arms. Okay. Hey. hey. Oh, it's. Starting to drip. It's crooked. All right, so it's just a little taste test. Poisonberry honey. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Mmm. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to get like. How much is a jar? A regular size jar is fourteen dollars. The larger size is twenty-four. We do have. That would taste really good in a tea. Mmm. Oh yeah. Put that into like an herbal tea. Yeah. That'd be really good. And they also have. Uh, boysenberry 
lip balm. You guys know me. I'm like <laughs> such a lip balm monster. So, Wendy, tell them what you got. Uh, we got a boysenberry honey and jar because it was so oh. smooth. It's so good. And then, because I am a monster with lip balms, <laughs> I got a boysenberry lip balm. It's made with beeswax. And then, so we can munch on. Yay! We'll eat some of that later. Boysenberry lip balm because I don't already have four more of some sort of chapstick lip balm type in my <laughs> nice stand drawer. But this is uh, made with beeswax. And you can kind of tell by like the stick; it's not perfect. So it's it's got that homemade, you know, type like organic thing, like not made from Michigan. Oh my god, it smells like boysenberry. Smell it, Dustin. Mm. Oh wow! Right? That has a good boysenberry uh, smell to it. How does it feel on the lips? It's slightly cooling. Oh. Oh. Oh, you look great, Lahan. Love the lips. Got off the Calico Mine something other. What was the ride called? Oh, the Calico Ghost Mine. Oh, okay. So I mine something or other. Uh, <laughs> so now, before we jump back into food, I wanted to get something refreshing to drink. It is getting a little warm. So we're getting the Boysenberry the Boba. Boysenberry Boba. Yeah, the That's line's long now, though. Aw, figures. We are back to the coffee hut, the gourmet coffee hut. And we're getting the boysenberry boba drink. So it has obviously boysenberry boba, and I don't know if it's the exploding bobas that we that you would have gotten at Disneyland. Uh, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, boysenberry tea, milk, and I heard a pump of raspberry. He said raspberry, not boysenberry. So let's give it a taste and see. I can't get a boba. <laughs> Is it stuck in the straw? Oh, all over the place. Wow. I can't get a boba out. Aww. Can you get some of the liquid out at least? Some of the... It definitely tastes really raspberry or boysenberry, but the boba, not that good. Oh no. It's real chewy, like it's been refrigerated a little too long. Uh. Um, maybe I'm a snob because I'm used to boba tea, but... They also need a bigger straw. <laughs> Hold on a second, I have one. We've switched the straw, so this is my uh, not sponsored, I think it's like the turtle straw or whatever that we got. Hopefully the bulbas can fit through this a little bit easier. Nope, too big. Come on, Winnie, suck. My God. It wow. It's even worse. It, this oh is, my God. It's, my thoughts is the drink is good. The drink by itself without the boba. It's got like a nice milky, icy boysenberry slash raspberry flavor. But the boba with the straw, first of all, the boba I don't like. Uh, so if I'm judging the boba by itself on a scale of one to five boysenberries, okay, I'll give it a three for the flavor, but for texture and taste, it's a one. Uh, I'm gonna give this over to Dustin so he can give it a try. I can see your neck muscles working. Oh, you're right. The boba is really chewy. And yeah, not that good. I don't even like the drink very much. Really? That drink I thought was okay. <laughs> it's not moving. Oh, I had that had too. That's why it was so hard. Yeah. I don't think the ref it's the it's, um the liquid is very, the drink itself is very refreshing. I find it kind of weird. I wish they had put in it the exploding boba as opposed to actual tapioca boba infused with. It's a yeah. good thought, but I, I don't think it's executed as well as they wanted it to. No, I mean, it's also because we get boba a lot. So we know really good boba. I think I'm going to give this overall for everything, too. Yikes. I Two did not. Berries. 
I'm not that I'm not, I'm not that fond of this. All right, my dear. What do we have for us today? Meat on a stick. Yeah. It's um flank steak with a raspberry cream cheese topping. It also has like a raspberry rub on it, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. We'll check afterwards. It smells really good. Eat that meat on a stick. Mm. Ooh, that looks really good. This is my favorite so far. Oh, really? That we've had. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, here, there's also some taters in there. Tell us this how This cream cheese sauce is really good. Like, I could drink it. <laughs> they should have just made a boba drink out of that. Does it go well with the taters? <laughs> not as well. It's not bad. You just probably the potatoes without it. You can take one more bite of this like steak. Oh, all yours, my love. Well, not all of it. Save a few bites for me. Man, that thing just looks massive. That'd be a lot of meat. That sauce is real good. The steak, a little chewy, which is okay. Is it a little well done, medium rare, medium well? Medium well to well. Okay. Um, and I like mine more medium rare, but I don't think they can do it that way. No, not here. I would give this on the boysenberry flavor meter. Uh, the flavorfulness of boysenberry, 4.5 out of 5. 4.5, Pretty yes. high. Oh my god. That is really good. <laughs> oh my God. So you're in food heaven right now? That is really good. That is really good. Holy cow. Um, yeah, the sauce is really good. It does not interrupt the flavor of the meat. You still get a really good meat flavor. And I like the, I forgot to and, say this, like it's a little bit charred. Because yes. It's and it tastes really good. Mm, it has some really good charred, charred meat on there. Oh my god, you got crazy eyes. What in the world? Oh my gosh. One was because it was tasting so good. And also it was like, oh, I thought that piece of meat would come off and it didn't. Mm. Okay. Let's try a potato. Tater time. Okay. Meat is a little chewy. Not super bad. I've had far worse, but still pretty good. Again, yeah. Honestly, if at the end of the day, we want to try to pack something home because we're just too full, bring one of these home. Mm. Ooh. The tater, the little potatoes are like buttery. Yeah, they're like fingerling potatoes, I think. Yeah, but, but they're like buttery. They're good. By themselves. That's really good. I kind of don't want to give this back because it's so good. I'm giving this a five. Ooh. This is this is good. I like it. Get this. Definitely is one of the things you must get. This is the boysenberry and lemon hummus. They actually put the lemon slices and the pita bread on the grill, so it's got little char marks on it. Ooh. We get these golden... I'm calling these golden carrots. I don't know if that's the proper term for it, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna try the hummus without squeezing lemon on it first to kind of get a clean taste. Oh, those are definitely crunchy. It's sweet. Oh. The carrot's really sweet too. So I'm gonna try some pita bread. It's definitely a boysenberry is a little bit more power overpowering than the chickpeas so I'm gonna squeeze some lemon I'm gonna squeeze some lemon onto the hummus see that changes the flavor better with the lemon because it cuts the sweetness of the it cuts the sweetness of the boysenberry it's overall like a nice refreshing quick bite before our next heavy meal. Um, I would give this, as far as flavors go, 
of how much poison beer I can taste. This is a 3.5 out of 5. As far as overall, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. Boysenberry lemon hummus. Let's try this out. Isn't that carrot so sweet? Yeah, the carrot's really good. Then the hummus is really good too. I don't, I don't think the boysenberry flavor is overpowering at all. I love that we have completely different takes on this. I think I like it better on the uh, on the um, pita bread. Even though, don't get me wrong, the carrots are still really good. So, overall, I think I'm going to give this, yeah, a three out of five boysenberries. One of the things that we really wanted to get, but it's not on the taster card, is this boysenberry butter and boysenberry jam grilled cheese sandwich. And when we were going through the list, we were just like, oh, we got to get it, but it wasn't on the tag. So we used our meal pass that we got when we bought our ticket. So I'm going to, ooh, it's a little, it feels a little soggy. But yeah, you can see like the, the grilled cheese on that. And there's a big glob of it on the back. Kind of reminds me of like a Monte Cristo, but let's find out. Hmm. Take a grilled cheese sandwich and put a lot of boysenberry jam on it, and that's what you got. But actually, the boysenberry jam isn't very isn't very like prominent. It actually just tastes like a grilled cheese sandwich that's a little soggy. And I want to try one more bite. I'm going to pass it on to the wifey. Mmm, there you go. Got it. Mmm. Okay, inside, there's a lot more berry flavor. All right. Yeah, it's a little messy. Yeah, Dustin's right. This is definitely like a very soggy and wet bread, but I think they used brioche bread it, or, or egg bread, kala bread, uh, which it's, I, I, I love that to give it a bit of sweetness. So let's see. You can see a giant chunk of a raspberry right Boysenberry. there. Boysenberry. Like Gosh. Boysenberry, boysenberry. Uh, so I'm gonna rip that part apart so I can chomp on that. It's a little messy, a little soggy and wet. So I don't love that part, but I do like the combination of the boysenberry and the cheese and the bread. It honestly gives me a little bit of a, um, a French toast vibe, um, which I would probably rather have like oh boysenberry butter french toast with powdered sugar and like some eggs and sausage on the side oh that sounds so good mm. but at least there's a lot of cheese in there too mm -hmm. a ton of cheese i will say this i don't love the cheddar with the sandwich i think i would have liked a brie or or um a uh What's another cheese that we like? A Gouda. I think a Gouda. A Gouda or a Brie. A Brie that would, I think Brie would be the best. Would have complemented the right. the um, the butter and the ch the sandwich really well. I think the cheddar is just a bit too different. <laughs> yeah. To go with this, but otherwise, I appreciate it, and I and I like that we got to um, we were able to actually get this through our meal voucher on the ticket, so that's cool. Then we got French fries on top of it, so Yay. it's a win-win. I would give this, um, for flavor, 3.5 out of 5 boysenberries, but for overall, like an overall review, I would give it like a 3 or 2.5 just because it's so wet and soggy. And I don't know if there's anything else I could have done to kind of help that. My rating for this would probably be like a 2.5, maybe 3. It's not very good on the boysenberry level. Um, and it's, it's still kind of like a good sandwich, but it's overly soggy, really hard to eat, kind of messy. So I'm going to give it uh, a 2.53. We've uh, 
taking a little break from eating because it, it's a lot of food and we still have how many passes we still we're not even we're only halfway done oh my god and but we did stop and get that sandwich too yeah so that's what we're a little full from i'm a little tired i'm a little grumpy a little sleepy i think it's what it is is i want to take a nap and i can't because i'm in a public place <laughs> uh and taking a nap right now is not an option so we got ourselves some refreshment so we can kind of walk around and hang out. Dustin got the boysenberry ginger, ginger ale. ale. And I got the, sorry, boysenberry mint soda because it just sounds refreshing. So Tink. let's try it out. Ooh. I like it. I like that too. The mint, for me, doesn't taste too prominent. But uh, I picked it because I didn't want it to be like overly sweet. And this kind of tastes kind of like a a melted icy. That sounds good. <laughs> so well, here I'll switch. Uh, hold on, don't let go. Okay. All right. And then oh, I'm wait. gonna try Dustin's ginger ale. Mmm. Yours is good. Oh, it's a little sweet for my taste. But yeah, yes, it is. It is really good. It's good, but yeah, it's a little sweet. But I have to admit, yeah, I, I'm still going to drink it. I don't know if they have this in the six pack you can take home. You have the boysenberry soda and the ginger ale that you can take home, but I didn't well, see them. You mint. can make up your own, like they have a whole bunch of bottles out. Oh, you can just and make your own And then they had like crate. your own little four pack that you could put together. Yeah, because there's also like a triple berry soda, which sounds super sweet, but mm -hmm. if you're into the super sweet, then, you know, go for that. There's a, a boysenberry cream soda, which is totally my jam. But uh, <laughs> but the mint just, she was like, oh, mint. Yeah, I don't know if that's a spot on my camera where you see that next to Dustin's face. Right here? Yeah. Maybe. I, it oh, does kind of look like a, like a glare. But it's not. But it's not because it's, it's moving around uh, everywhere. All right, so we're going to clean that off. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be back to eating in just a little bit. More food. <laughs> trying the salmon with the boysenberry glaze and a boysenberry like vinaigrette for the salad. I figured it was time for us to get some like actual greens <laughs> into our system. So we'll try a little bit of the salad first. That dressing's good. It reminds me a little bit what, of what goes on the flank today. Of what, what? Of the flank steak. Oh. Not I think quite. It's the same one. It, no, it's similar. It's not it. Oh, okay. It's real similar though. All right. Let's try the salmon. <laughs> I love salmon, and I never thought of like salmon and boysenberry going together, but I like it. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to give this, it's really, really good. It's really flavorful and it's still light. I'm going to give this um, four out of five boysenberries. Mm. Do you want to take that dressing home? I, I do. I wonder if they sell this one because we they found out. We oh, then we might want to grab some. Yeah, I think that's really good. Okay. Now it's. Salmon time. Oh, it flakes apart pretty well. We get a little bit more of that dressing on there. Oh. That's really good. That's, I was expecting the salmon to be a little dry just because they kind of have it like on a. Um, it was, yeah. But it's not. It is really, really juicy and tender. And I'm like, that's some good salmon, even by itself. And the dressing is very tasty. And gold. I'm not going to eat it all. There's still a big chunk there. So, I'm, you know what? And there's only been one other thing that I've been given a five. I'm going to give this a five. I think this is definitely something that you want to get yeah. if you come to um, the, the Boysenberry Festival. This is really, really tasty. Now we're not wasting any time and we're going right into the pot roast. So, I mean, they're both in the same area, so we just got them at the, wow. 
I, ba I barely cut that and it just fell apart. All right. I'm excited. Oh no, it doesn't even stay on the fork. It's like it's good, but there's a flavor in there that I'm not quite liking. Like a, um, I don't, I hesitate to say it, kind of like, you know, kind of like some canned foods would have. It's not bad. I'm not like, oh my God, this is disgusting. I'm just going, it's not a flavor that I'd, I um, anticipated the hit taste in it. It's still very tasty. Um, it's still, it falls right off. I mean, here, if you get a look down at the, if you, point the camera down. I mean, heck, I just go like that. And it just flakes right off and it comes right apart. So maybe if I get something a little bit more on the inside, and it doesn't really have much berry flavor in it. Mm. It's the barbecue sauce that they use. Kind of, not bad, but after the salmon and after the flank steak, this kind of does coming definitely below those. Now let me try the mashed potatoes with a little bit of gravy on there. Mm. Not overly berry on that, but I do have to admit it does have, it's still very mashed potato-y and it doesn't overwhelm the mashed potato. It just gives it a nice little hint and whisper. Of blue of boysenberry. Overall, I think I'm gonna give this a 3.5 berries out of five berries. So I am actually really super curious about this boysenberry mashed potato because it's basically purple. Uh, so we're gonna give it a try. It's interesting. It's yeah. got a berry flavor. It still tastes mostly mashed potatoes. I don't hate it though. It's different. I don't hate it. It is very creamy and there's bits of um, boysenberry throughout, so you know they actually did mix boysenberry in there and it's just not like, mm, it's boysenberry. Like it's, they definitely made the effort to make it, to make sure that they got uh, boysenberry in the mashed potatoes. Try a little bit of the pot roast, which is what Dustin said earlier. It's super tender. It falls right off the fork. You don't need a knife to cut it. Uh, and let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay. I like it. It's nice and flaky. It's juicy. I think what throws me off a little bit is the tanginess of the barbecue sauce, like you said. Mm. Like maybe a barbecue sauce doesn't belong on a hot roast as a more than like a reduction of poison berry or something like that. So but I like the texture of the meat. I think overall this dish is really good. Um I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of five poison berries. All right, we're moving on to one of the things I really wanted to try, and that was the boysenberry waffle. Now, I'm gonna eat this just like a caveman, I guess, and um, How dare you? hey, that's the best way to eat things sometimes. <laughs> I inhaled some of the powdered sugar. Mm. It is a fresh waffle, it just came out of the, uh, the kitchen. Oh, cool. It's not bad. It is very boysenberry flavored. The syrup that they put on it does kind of taste like any other kind of syrup that you can get, like boysenberry syrup that you can get at the store. I've tried it before, but it's not bad. There's nothing really else to really say about this. It's kind of like, it's a boysenberry flavored waffle. Um, it kind of has like a graininess to it, I guess. And um, overall, I'll give this, it's tasty, so I'll give this three boysenberries out of five. I do have to say, I am quite excited about this. And also, if you look at this, the batter um, is also boysenberry. So it's not just the sauce, the waffle is actually also boysenberry. It's super sweet. <laughs> and, um, oh, all right. It tastes like when you crunch down on the waffle, it's kind of like you're crunching down on sugar, yeah, which is yeah. not a thing that I like. I, I had a cake once upon a time, and I crunched down, and it was like raw sugar inside that like didn't 
fully dissolve and I personally am not a fan of that texture. This, so for boysenberry flavor, this is like a boysenberry flavor because it's just so filled with boysenberry. But as far as like the texture and the actual presentation, no, the presentation's nice, but the actual taste of it, I'm gonna have to give this like a 2.5 out of 5 boysenberries. It's, I, it's not fluffy, it's kind of dense. Um, and Dustin, what he said about the syrup, that you can kind of just get it anywhere, it honestly does feel like that. It's just okay. Yeah. <laughs> Disappointed. This is our last one of the day. What are we getting? We're getting the jambalaya. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much. My pleasure. Here you go. Thank you. You too. Last but not least, the jambalaya. There's a lot of different stuff in here. It seems like we got chicken, we got pork, we got rice. Oh, and look, you can see like sausage the sausage too. And oh, and sausage. Lots Is there of different. Uh, boysenberries in there. I think they have like a boysenberry sauce on it. All right. Here we go. We got some of the chicken, some of the sausage. Hmm. It has a nice smoky, smoky flavor to it. You get a hint of that sweetness, which is actually pretty good. I have to admit. Let me see if I can get some of that rice in there as well. It's not that spicy at all. Again, okay, that's good for the general public because you can't. Some people can't handle the spice as well as others. And Very then... true. I, I, I am one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty good. It's. I was a little afraid because when they handed it out, it looked like it had been sitting for a while. But it actually, I don't think it actually was. Um, the everything is there's nothing in here that's like super dry. Everything is very juicy, very tender. The sausage, when you bite into it, has a good little pop of flavor to it. This is pretty good. I'll give this. I think my rating for this is going to be four boysenberries out of five. Maybe if I'm a little bit more critical, maybe a three point five. But it's tasty. It's definitely worth one of your tickets. I love a good jambalaya, I really do. Uh, so, boysenberry and jambalaya, I don't know. Let's see, I'm just gonna try a sausage by itself. Oh, you definitely get that, that, um, what's that called? <laughs> boysenberry flavor in there. We're getting our berries mixed up like I, crazy I know. today. Oh, uh, is there no more rice left? What happened? I didn't get much rice. There's not much in here, so this is becoming more like a gumbo. Oh. Uh. But it's good. Um, it's very flavorful, a little smoky, a little zingy, not too much. The boysenberry flavor is very, very present, but it's not overpowering. And it doesn't really clash with the jambalaya, which I appreciate. No, I'm into this. Um, on the boysenberry flavor skill, scale, I'm going to give this a... Give it a 3.5 boysenberry out of five. And that's it. This is the meal that will end our visit and our first time at Knott's Boysenberry Festival. I'm boysenberried out though. I'm done. <laughs>
I don't know. I just, I really liked it. I think it's the, the, the grills that they have out and they're cooking the food right in front of you. It's hot, fresh, steamy when you get it. Um, you see them. I'm not saying Disney doesn't do this. Obviously the food is cooked and it's prepared. Yeah. But it's it, just when, a different element. When you get to see it in front of you, when you get to see it cooked in you get front of you, get a little bit you, more excited. Yeah, and there's something that, there's something about seeing your food cooked that is just really fun, really good, and makes you kind of a- anticipation, mouth water kind of thing, as opposed to here it is. <laughs> so the Boysenberry Food Festival, or the Boysenberry Festival, is running from now until April 29th. At Knott's Berry Farm, you can get tickets online. We are not being a sponsor. We're just giving you information. So if you want to check it out because you happen to be uh, in Anaheim, L.A. area, or you live here and you want to go check it out, you haven't before, hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, Mm -hmm. Dustin, what would you say for the folks that want to get the taster card of the eight items, what would you say they definitely should get on the list that we tried? I I would highly recommend the salmon. And the flank steak. Those are by far my two favorites. They were so good. Yeah. Those were delicious, especially that salmon. And that's saying a lot because at that point in the video, (laughs) I was, I was, I was done eating. I was in fact done with the day just because it was hot. I was tired. Everything was fine. It was a lovely day. People were super nice. Um, I just like, I was done, but the salmon was delicious. The flank, the flank steak with the boysenberry cream cheese sauce drizzle, whatever it is. I wish they sold it in a bottle. They don't oh. have it. We asked about it too, um, but I, you know, maybe they will take they it like, back to management. And you know, like there, tons of people are asking yes. for this. So they're they're missing out on. I mean, but you know what? This is the first time that they've had the flank steak. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it'll return next year along with the merchandise of the boysenberry uh, cream cheese sauce, which we will definitely purchase. I also want to say if you are an Aloti fan, like go ahead and get it. It's pretty good, but just make sure yeah. you put some cayenne pepper or lemon pepper on that to get it a little bit more seasoned. Yeah, give it a little bit more flavor. Yeah, because compared the boysenberry... to like the original, it's not as good, but yeah. with the boys boysenberry element, it's pretty good. Um, here are those. Here are some of the things that we think you can probably save your money on and not go out of your way to buy. I think Dustin and I can agree on the boysenberry boba drink. No. Oh. It was not good. The straw was too small for the boba. It like it shouldn't be an effort for me to enjoy a drink that has, you know, like. That was so funny. We we're like. We we even switched straws and it didn't work. So uh, it was unfortunate that it didn't work. The oh, the oh, the boysenberry waffle that we were so looking forward to. Yeah. Was not what we expected. It, it and and I don't know if waffles like that. Is meant to have those crystallized sugar in the I don't, dough. Well, what is it? I know um, coffee bean and tea leaf used to have waffles. Like a Belgian that, waffle. Yeah, that was kind of like that. Uh-huh. But that's kind of one that you throw in the toaster oven and you're good. And then you get it and you're like, but okay, did, good to go. did you have, when you ate that one, did it have the crystallized sugar taste? Yeah, it did. It also okay. had a little bit of a crunch to it from the so crystallized sugar. So maybe that is the way it's supposed to be. Then I guess in that case... It's just not the texture that I prefer. Mm-hmm. Um, so if that's something you prefer, you're into that kind, go ahead and try it out. It wasn't for us. We like the yeah. idea. I like that the batter was also infused with boysenberry, not just the sauce. Also, we read on the card, the sauce was supposed to be a boysenberry cream cheese and That was sauce. not a cream cheese It sauce. was straight up boysenberry syrup. Uh, so that was a little disappointing. We didn't get to try the boysenberry ice cream because we were so full by the end of it. Yeah, and the, you couldn't get it by itself. You no, get... you can oh. elsewhere, but like we were also on a time crunch, so we didn't have time to find an ice cream. We were coming down to the to the wire for the time um, that we had to be home and let the dogs out. So, those are. Is there any other things that you think that they should not spend um, their money things on? Things that I could kind of skip. I think I can also skip the pot roast. I thought that was mm. a little bit on the lower scale, and it had a weird kind of. Flavor. It's I think very tangy. Tangy. That was something that you said before that I was like, you know what? That's that's what it is. I think I want it for a pot roast because we've had it before. Not this one, but just in general, when you have pot roast, it's like a savory taste. It's like a gravy flavor, and it was just very sweet and tangy, like a barbecue sauce, which I thought really yeah. didn't go quite well with the um, 
with the pot roast, but the meat was delicious, and so was the mm-hmm. potato. Those were good. So I would maybe change the sauce, but maybe ask for it on the side next time. <laughs> I don't know. It was unfortunately kind of um, with the gravy in a sense. The gravy was kind of in the pot with the pot roast. Mm-hmm. So uh, you, you, you kind of have to have it. Well, that wraps up our thoughts on the Knott's Berry Farm Boys and Berry Festival. Hope you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you want to see what we're up to day to day, you can follow us on social media at Wendy Lee Zaney, at the movie couple underscore on Twitter, at the movie couple on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.